what's happening good morning good morning man like i told you guys yesterday the uh my videos are a day behind and maybe i'll get them on track so they'll be on the same day but as of right now this you'll see this video tomorrow today is september 11th um you know rest in peace to all the people that lost their lives um and um you know prayers up to a uh, prayers out to all the, the family members who still you know this is this is a bad day for them um the debate was last night donald trump was donald trump and kamala harris is kamala harris you know i thought it you know i thought it was a good debate i thought kamala harris i think she's going to be the next u.s president and the first female president first black female president and asian female president uh, anyways today i have on my jaja t-shirt this is the second book published i um uh, i published my nephew made this shirt for me uh, maybe two or three years ago and it's still this is a good quality t-shirt i like to wear this t-shirt anyways i'm gonna get started pretty pretty fast this morning uh because uh, i want to get this thing going oh i found my um number one dad cup it was in a dishwasher i don't you know you know we're getting old so maybe i took it downstairs and somebody put it in the dishwasher i don't know but i found it and i have my water so i'm about to pour me some water writers need liquid Writers need liquid to write, and this writer needs liquid and an incense. I just put my incense out because I don't want it to burn too long. But yeah, sorry about that noise. Um, I'm still on this LL Cool J, uh, the Force album too, and I have my coffee right here. I don't have any fruit again. I gotta buy fruit today. But uh, this LL Cool J, he's on sway in the morning. I think I'm gonna make a video about that. Uh, that this project makes me nervous because I don't think it's going to get its fair due. You know what I mean? I just, I think it's going to go over a lot of people's heads because LL is 56 years old. He's been out for 40 years. So people are not going to, like I, you know, I wasn't expecting much. It was, this was a pleasant surprise. This, this album, The Force, was a pleasant surprise. With all that being said, let me get a sip of coffee. Mmm. Uh, excuse me, just watered my garden. Sip of water. Mm. All right, let's uh, let's get back into it, y'all. All right, Anthony L. Kelly, Bajillion. Okay, Chapter One. It was another warm morning in Green Pond, a small town with only a handful of stop signs and one blinking yellow light. The charming little settlement sat approximately 13 miles north of Walterboro, South Carolina. What little coolness that had been left behind by the night had all but faded away, and as the fog dissipated by the sun, by the rising sun, the bajillion day dwellers of the forest were awakening to a new crisp morning. Somewhere in the lush green woods, a father and his son walked down a beaten path, brushing away spider webs while looking up and down for creepy crawlers. They were on their way to the fishing hole to catch a few red breasts for dinner, or perhaps tomorrow's breakfast. With anticipation hovering about, with anticipation hovering about both dark faces, they were hoping that after reaching their destination, and like so many other times, a sense of tranquility would take them over but hopefully things wouldn't be like the last time when too many fish too small or the occasional turtle took the worm boy it's sure getting hot boy it sure is getting hot boy it's sure getting hot let's take ears out boy it's sure getting hot boy it's sure getting hot Boy, it's sure getting hot. If you like the sun, then move down here closer to us. Or whatever the scientists say. <laughs> Why is scientists capitalized? Is that supposed to be capitalized? Boy, it's sure getting hot. If you like the sun, then move down here closer to us. Or whatever them scientists say. Or whatever. Or whatever I'm starting to say. See, I'm reading it 
and I'm allowing myself to read it as though I'm speaking okay that's why those words changed boy it's sure getting hot feel like them scientists uh, feel like feel like the sun that moved down here closer to us or whatever them scientists say said Henry and at the same time I, Henry is even though the story is 25 years old I you know I think because I'm approaching it from this angle where I have people judging me as I create the story it's more pressure on me and if you know one thing about me when I'm doing something I like to do and I know I'm good at when the pressure is on I perform you know that's just as simple as that and that, that's, that, that comes from my childhood Boy, it's sure getting hot. I feel like the sun done moved down here closer to us. Or whatever them scientists say, said Henry. Don't you feel that heat on the top of that bean head of yours? He asked the sun. Yep, I feel it. But it don't hurt, because I'm strong, said little Jacob. It was an unusually hot it was an unusual it was an unusually warm morning even for October it was an unusually warm morning even for October the temperature had already risen to 85 degrees and with the humidity being as dense as it was it easily felt like 95 okay so here I'm gonna change this to green and what this symbolizes is this is my starting point this is this is where I go next time okay change that to green change this to black so for all the people out there saying oh keep starting over and over keep going over and over and over the writers gotta do this and especially writers who hadn't written in forever <laughs> I hadn't written in forever man I'm talking forever I uh, it's gonna take me 21 days 21 days before I get back you know acclimated to writing again as Henry and Jacob continued on the path through the deep woods the eagerness was causing time to pour out like molasses I'm gonna leave that where it is each step felt as if lead was in his shoes it had been a while since they made the trip and being that it was overdue. Jacob was primed. Okay. Stepping on twigs and leaves, hearing the blue jays call out to their fellow tenants while swiping away at the occasional spider web. Um, 20 yards or so away from the pond, the smell of fresh water began growing stronger, captivating the boy as they got nearer. Originally, the two-acre pond was a simple eight feet deep hole with little to no shore area just a drop off dug out by a small paper mill back in the early 80s. The purpose of the hole was for dumping scrap lumber debris and it would have been covered after it was filled, but fortunately it had been left unattended for many years before being discovered by Henry and his friend Shug. And his friend Shug, who were trespassing on the property at the time. Should that be a comedy? Uh, I don't know. Y'all know I don't know. I'm not an English major. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm waiting for those comments too. When people start, you know. keep going because I know people want to hear more the small mill never had the opportunity never had the opportunity to dump anything in the hole due to bankruptcy and eventually shutting down now the hole and everything else on the property belonged to the bank should I say a bank first unit to belong to first unit to the first unit bank no, I'm not gonna put first. 
There's significance in First Union. First Union was my first bank. The first bank I ever had in my life. I saved up $40 in a little Nestle Quick cocoa, the, um, the strawberry cocoa powder. Uh, I wrapped uh, electrical tape around the whole thing and, and super glued the top down, cut a little slit in there, and I, was, I would just deposit you know, coins and dollars every now and then, a $5 bill. And this is 90s, 90s, so I started doing it in like 94, 95. I went to Job Corps, I broke that open and I had $40 in it, and I deposited that in the bank because you have to have a bank, a bank account before you can go into Job Corps or the military. You gotta have a bank account. So I had forty dollars, and that was First Union Bank there in Somerville. Shout out to First Union; um, they went away, but now they're coming back. Uh, okay. The small mill never had a, had the opportunity to dump anything in the hole due to bankruptcy and eventually shutting down. Now the hole and everything else on the property belonged to the bank, who couldn't seem to give the land away. Thanks to Henry and Shug, the exclusive pit had been stocked with every kind of freshwater fish that was native to the state of South Carolina. Coming closer to the pond, is that pond or pound? Uh oh. Y'all, y'all, you guys are gonna discover some things about me. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Yeah, that's, that's pound. You guys are gonna discover some things about me. I can't spell at all. Not even a little bit, but you know, I'll, when you when it when this is in the book form, the spelling will be right because guess what? I know people who can't spell. I need to go back. Where did I see that? Um, also, this book was written a long time ago, and my spelling was worse. Oh, this pawn. Okay. The small mill never had the opportunity to dump anything in the hole due to bankruptcy and the, and the eventually and eventually shutting down. Now the hole and everything else on the property belonged to the bank who couldn't seem to give the land away. Thanks to Henry and Shug, the exclusive pit had been stocked with every kind of freshwater fish that was native to the state of South Carolina. I said to, to the state of South Carolina. That's another thing I gotta, I gotta get, you know. I gotta get good at. I gotta get good at pronunciations. Um, yeah, and it's coming. Coming closer to the pond, the rich smell, along with the collection of yellow wildflowers, began entrancing the two. Readying the boy for what he'd been waiting for for so long. Alright, so, what is this? Why is it red? See the date on this? Y'all are you guys paying attention? Look at the date here. When I when I highlight it, look at the date. The date is January 19, 2022. It is 2024. So I hadn't worked on the story since 2022. And this is probably like a brief thing I tried to start and just stopped. So I really hadn't worked on this story in, in longer than that. But anyways. So and I put a note here, this note, uh, hint at the spirit thing on the water somewhere in here. Also have Jacob hint about the need of a dog. Okay, so here I was thinking, um, because later on, as I remember, later on in the story, um, it's either going to be like a little spirit thing or a, a maybe an angel. This is a fictional story. Maybe an angel that attaches itself to, to Jacob. I don't know yet. But maybe I, it says the hint at it right here, so I got to go back now and see um, how to implement that here in this section because obviously I wanted it. I want to feed the reader or give the reader a hint of something coming in the future. Anyways, it's 14 minutes and 30 seconds, y'all. I got to wrap this up. Um, I don't want to, you know, we, we got we made it kind of far. So I'm gonna leave this. Is, I'm gonna leave this red. And I'll come back up here, which is not far away. And this is still green. I'll save it. And uh, this is where I'll pick it up tomorrow. All right. I thank you all for being around, sticking around. And again, I promise you, this is going to be worth the ride. 
it's going to be worth the ride and it's going to be a long ride now what i may do is i may just show you guys a rough draft and then you know i'll have i, I won't go through the whole process of showing you all of the details in getting this made into an actual novel book you know publishing and all that stuff so i may just show you only the rough draft which may end up being three thousand videos uh easily with all that being said thank you guys for stopping by again you gals and guys i appreciate your time um leave some comments let me know what you think about all this this is anthony l kelly till next time salute y'all have a wonderful day um I'm out.